<clears throat> so I want to do a follow-up. This is that. Um, this is that uh, poor man's desulfator circuit. There's your rectifier down there. 150 amp. There's a run capacitor. That's your electrolytic capacitor. And down here you have a... Uh, you have a uh, AC 120 volt powered relay. Normally open or normally closed. This video is about this relay that I added to this uh, to this desulfator circuit. This capacitor in the circuit is the one that drops the voltage, and this is the one that controls the amperage. When this relay is activated via this timer circuit, it's given power to flip the relay, and then it, by flipping the relay, it disconnects this capacitor from the circuit and this is the capacitor that drops the voltage from 140 volts DC to um, to about 16 volts DC so when I turn this timer on this capacitor is disconnected from the circuit give me a second here so you've seen that, I'm going to put it back together. So I uh, closed it up now. Powering it up. That's this battery here. I'm desulfating it. It rests at about 4 volts. I'm going to turn the power on. This timer is off. So the blue capacitor that drops the voltage to 16 volts is connected to the circuit. When I turn this on, it will flip the relay in there and it will go from normally closed to normally open and by doing so, it will disconnect the blue capacitor and the voltage will come back to 140 volts. This runs for an hour if you turn it all the way. And I did this so that I can, you know, uh, do a fast charge for an hour. You know, and it also help heat the battery up to get the desulfation process going. And after an hour, it'll turn off and go back to 16 volts uh, AC pulses from the grid. So here I'm going to turn it on at 16 volts. Pulses. And you can see how well it charges the battery up. This battery was holding less than a volt when I started with it. It was a lead acid battery. <clears throat> I desulfated it with Eps uh, with uh, sodium bicarbonate, and then I filled it back up with lead, uh, alum mixture, as described by John Bedini. Uh, the alum batteries that he makes with cooking spice called alum, found at the grocery store. Okay, so it's running at 16 volt pulses. And now I'm going to turn on the overdrive to bring it to 140 volt pulses. And here we go. And that's what it does at full blast. Uh, no dropping the voltage. So the capacitor that does the voltage drop from 100 the grid voltage down to 16 volts. In my previous video regarding this charger circuit you'll see the I'll put a link you'll see the uh, the uh, the diagram schematic and you will also see this same box without the the uh, the controlling of the 
blue capacitor disconnecting. So yeah, it's running full blast now. I can turn it all the way to uh, one hour. And that will heat this battery up and then turn off after an hour and it will go back to 16 volts. And it will continue to pulse at 16 volts. This way you eliminate any uh, hazards, you know, you don't run it full blast blow up some batteries I mean I, when I'm running these this desulfator circuit full blast if I don't uh, you know after depending on the situation like this battery right here blew up and BAM real loud see side came out and I was running it uh, I was charging it with a uh, another same circuit with no voltage drop it basically taking 120 volts from the grid and running it through that circuit with those capacitors and that circuit will convert grid AC to DC eight, uh, uh, DC uh, spike uh, pulses it'll basically take the bottom half of the AC wave and remove it and just leave you with the top half of the AC wave so if you have an AC wave like that it'll just give you this There you have it. That's running at 16 volts. This battery is coming back. I mean, I like to turn this on, let it run for an hour, and then it turns off and keeps charging uh, at 16 volt DC pulses and about, um, I never really measured it. If I had to guess, it's about two or three amps. And when you turn this on and remove the blue capacitor which drops your voltage and then you're running at high voltage 140 volts approximately and higher voltage means you can push more current so it goes from 2 amps to about definitely less than 20 amps because it would blow this the uh, you know about 15 amps I think maybe 10 amps 10, 10 15 amps for an hour over and out. 